What's up guys, ladies and gentlemen, my friends is here and today should you buy in 2022 Dolce & Gabbana Intenso? Let's check it out. I bought this fragrance in 2014 and it was a relaunch of the Dolce & Gabbana Purum line. It was one of my favorites. My mother gave me the Dolce & Gabbana Purum. I remember, you know, the first time I smelled it and you know, it's a fragrance that, oh man, it smells so good, so sexy. It's very goody, it's a goody fragrance, and uh, also it has lavender and aquatic notes from the original, you know, Dolce & Gabbana Purum, but also it has tobacco, which gives it, you know, a more intenso, intense, you know, like the name it says. And you know, it's a great fresh and clean fragrance, but at the same time, it's warm. So I love to wear it in the mornings. And you know, objectively, you know, it's a fresh and clean fragrance with warm notes, you know, to get you through the day. Because, you know, in the mornings, I like to be fresh and clean, you know, with grapefruit or citrix notes, fragrances. And then in the evening, when I go to work out, you know, I like to rock my Versace Pur Homme, but also, you know, sweet and sexy, you know, and bold, like Versace Eros or more sweet fragrances, you know? But definitely, you know, I think this one has been under the radar. It also is an Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum, you know, which is very important, you know, because it has more fragrance oil concentration on it and it lasts longer, you know. If you love the original Dolce & Gabbana Puram, you should try this one and give it a shot. I've been wearing it since 2014. I got so many compliments with this fragrance from women all over the world. That is amazing, you know. So I think that you should give it a try. And yeah, Dolce & Gabbana Intenso for you. Thank you guys and stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of Dolce & Gabbana Intenso and what other fragrances would you like to be reviewed. Have a good day guys!